Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can correct skin tones. Now, keep in mind throughout this video that there are several different ways that you can correct skin tones, and it really depends on your approach to any particular image. Now, for example, you may need to adjust the white balance on a particular skin tone, or maybe there's a bit of patchiness that you need to correct on a skin tone. It really depends on what you're correcting and how you're going to approach it. There's also a slightly different process for correcting deeper skin tones versus versus much lighter skin tones. So I may actually go into that in another video if you guys wanna see that, and I might go into a little bit more depth there. But for this particular tutorial, we're really going to focus on how to make a duller skin tone just that little bit more vibrant and correct it in that way. And I'm gonna take you through that process from start to finish. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial and let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so we're now in Photoshop and I'm just gonna put out there before we start the video today that there are literally a million different methods that you can use in Photoshop to correct skin tones. I'm just gonna put that out there straight away. There are so many different tools you can utilize to correct skin tones and it really depends on the type of lighting and the type of skin tone that you're trying to correct in terms of how you would approach it. So in today, looking at this particular photo, it does look a little bit washed out and it was taken in natural light on a cloudy day in studio. So it is lacking a little bit of that warmth that was there in person and the camera hasn't really captured that uh, too well on the skin tone. So I think that it does look a little bit dull and we can make it that little bit more vibrant, get some of those warmer tones back into the skin tone. Now, depending, like I said, on how you need to correct the skin tone, you may have images where the skin tone is way too warm or the white balance is really off. And it's really going to depend on what image you have as to how you're going to correct it. Now, in this case, I need to add a little bit more warmth back into the skin tone, but in other circumstances, you may need to change the white balance. You may need to do a lot more spot color correction. And I am going to go through a quick method today on how I like to do spot color correction as well on the skin tone, uh, just because I feel like that's really important for integrating that in with dodge and burn when you're retouching skin. But in terms of this photo today, I'm gonna show you a really quick technique in how I like to correct skin tones. And this really does work for most skin tones. So deeper skin tones, they could be freckled skin tones, um, more textured skin tones. It really doesn't matter uh, what skin tone you're working with in this instance. You can use this method to adjust them. So like I said, this is quite a quick method and I'm actually just going to grab my lasso tool just in the top left hand corner and I'm going to make sure that the feathering is set to around 100 pixels. This is working on a large uh, high res image. So we're going to make sure that it's a fairly soft selection. I don't want any uh, hard edges with this particular selection. So all I'm going to do is just trace around the subject skin tone it doesn't need to be perfect we do have a soft selection at the moment so it really doesn't have to be super super perfect we can adjust it later so once I've got a rough selection of the skin tone I'm then going to go and create a selective color adjustment layer so just in the adjustments tab here you can go to selective color and you can see here in the mask that we've got that selection made so Anything that we now adjust on the selective color adjustment layer is only going to adjust in that selection that we've just created. So it's really just going to be mostly the skin tone. However, if you're finding that the selection hasn't been detailed enough, you can easily go in with the paintbrush tool on the mask using either black and white to clean up those areas maybe around the exterior where we've just selected. So that's really easily fixed. But now that we've got our selection, I'm going to adjust mainly the magentas and yellows, and this will be the case for most skin tones. Uh, that is where most of the color does lie within skin tones is the magentas and yellows, and making sure that you have the reds selected. You sometimes may need to go into the yellows as well, or the neutrals just to kind of pick up on certain tones. But for the most part, you can stay in the reds and adjust the magentas and yellows. So as I said, with this particular image, the skin tone I feel is a little bit dull. So I'm actually going to move up the warmth a little bit. And to do this, I'll just move up the yellows a bit. But you can see when I move up the yellows, the skin just kind of looks a little bit on the sick side. And I think it's because we've got too much yellow in the skin tone and we need to balance that out a little bit. So I'm going to move up the magentas now and really kind of create just a little bit more of a sun-kissed look there. So you can move this up until you feel that it is sitting a little bit better. I'm gonna turn off the eye now just to show you a before and after of what that looks like. And you can see already how much of a difference that has really made on the skin tone. And in this case, I might even move down the yellow just slightly. 
And I try not to adjust the cyans in this instance because that can really uh, wreak havoc with a skin tone, as you can see. So I'm just going to leave that at zero. And I'm also going to move the blacks down as well. That will just help give a little bit more contrast and texture on the skin tone, which I always love. And just a little bit more depth as well to it. I think we can maybe afford just to push the yellows just a little bit higher up. Okay, so I'm going to click on the eye just to show you guys now before and after of what that looks like. And that's essentially how I would adjust my skin tones. That's pretty much a very simple technique that you can use in Photoshop and quick technique you can use to correct skin tones. And to be honest, you're going to be able to do a lot with selective color. There's so many ways you can adjust using the adjustment layers with masking as well. There's really so much you can achieve with using this really simple process. And the rest I would probably correct with dodge and burn in terms of brightening up certain areas of the face on this side and doing any local dodging and burning to kind of even out the skin tone. And that's pretty much how I would approach this image. However, there's also going to be areas and times uh, where you will need to do more of a spot color correction with uh, skin retouching. So I'm going to show you a really quick uh, way to adjust that. So let's pretend for a second that this is a particular area that I do want to remove this redness here. Obviously I don't because I think it adds a really nice sun-kissed rosy look to the skin, but pretend for a second that this might be a blemished area or a bit of redness on the skin that we want to remove. And I'm just going to do a quick rundown of how I would adjust this. So to do this, I would create a new blank layer. I would rename this to color correction or whatever you like you can rename it to. Then I would get my paintbrush tool and making sure that you've got a 1% flow and that it's a very soft brush. I'll just hold down Alt and choose another color from nearby skin that I kind of want to match it to just around this kind of area and then just paint over the redness. So for example, if you wanted to remove that redness, this is a really, really easy way to do it. So let's just turn this on and off for a second. You can see how it's removed that really reddish part of the skin. Obviously, I don't want to remove this part of this particular image because it's the blush. And I think it adds a really nice sun-kissed, rosy kind of look to the skin tone at the moment. So I don't actually want to remove it. But if I wanted to remove that redness, this is a really easy way to do it by doing a spot color correction and using this process. But for now, I'm going to turn that layer off and I'm going to zoom out. I'm just going to do another quick before and after for you. So this is the before and then this is the after. And I think that just by using that one particular tool with a selective color adjustment layer, it really does make all the difference in how a skin tone can look. And it's a really great way to color correct a skin tone. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure that you do. I'll be posting more tutorials very soon. And let me know if you'd like more videos on skin color correction and any particular videos or requests that you might have. Definitely leave them down in the comments section below. But thank you guys again so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.